Hello guys And uh Excited to uh, get one more parts for my Type R And I'm gonna pick it up today And I'm gonna install it in two weeks Probably in two weeks But you know, we'll see And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my van And Sunny today And tomorrow We're gonna use this car we have like a cruising here Sunday tomorrow and it's all clean boost boost clean and let's go pick up the, the ports Hello guys, and here's the parts that I bought. It's right there. Yeah. You can tell what part of the car. And I'm so excited to put this one on. And this is a replica again. And it's on stock, and it's local, no shipping, and yeah this uh you will see it later on and we're gonna open it later tonight and you know all right gonna be nice I'm so excited All right, guys. Um, my son just got home, and let's go unbox this one. And my son want to see as well. What? Right, Jasper? What was that? <laughs> want to see it? Yeah. 
Yeah, see my son right there. <laughs> and let's go unbox this one. Just can you help me over there? Turn around. Oh, it's light. And thank you for Kevin from Make a Make a Garage. But from him, if you guys need a parts, local, Washington, message him or call him. Right there, guys. nice right here guys you already saw it we unbox it with my son it's very nice and i want one i already see what you said <laughs> i want one you want <laughs> one now this is the last one and i get a good deal for this one i, I cannot pass it it's really i you know and i'm really looking for this one um i'm scared about doing shipping and i asked some friends so we here local and she tell me wait i will call someone and here we go from mika garage and thank you for kevin and she did the last one and i just grab it right away why not no shipping costs like free shipping you know that saved me a lot this replica it's not a various hood uh this uh very nice. They're gonna say like, hmm, Not the bad. quality, the carbon fiber, you know. Can't wait to put this one on over here, my, my bush blue. But it looks like in the other car, they have they much painted from that car, and it's really nice, and it's very nice. But. I'm gonna do a carbon fiber first and see and you know but, but here we go guys here's the the hood carbon fiber only the top they had they selling the top and bottom too but I just want the top one Put that one and test it out. Now I already take the hose right here. Then I'm gonna take the this one later. I just take the hose right here and pull it out. So I don't know how to take this one off. I need to see this one over here. But right now I'm gonna remove this one. This uh two bolts right here. 
and two bolts right right here. then i'm gonna call my son to help me out to pull this one all right guys i'm gonna put this one inside and let's go move this one Okay, we'll go in the corner so I can jump. No, 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 don't carry it. I'm gonna put it down now. You look in the corners. You're gonna touch. That's how I'm gonna put slow. Good, good. Good? It's gonna touch. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna touch. You, you, uh, hold it like this. I'm gonna look. It looks like it's about to touch. Huh? That's far. It is. Yeah. You should stay there. You see, where we go, guys, it's all done, and we have a little bit adjustment over here. It's taken me a while, this is my first time to do it, and gonna show you which one probably if you're gonna do this one's gonna be easy now if I sh uh, since this one I show you the how to adjustment it's gonna be like you know two people and my son's right there to help me it's better three people or two people don't do it by yourself this is a it's not cheap it's not cheap carbon fiber and I know this is replica but if you're gonna buy the the real one, make sure you have a helper and make sure you know how to do it. And anyway, I'm gonna show you only one issue. It's only one issue you need to adjust. You need to do the mat. But anyway, I'm gonna show you and you know it's this gonna be opposite if you have issues the other side and do the other side. Alright? It's right here. That's the issue. Then what I do is I hand tight this one first, hand tight that one, and close it. And uh, if if which one is touching on it, if this side sample is mine is touching over, and just bring it up a little bit and down a little bit, you no know, to push forward. But if still doing it. Now this is your second one to adjust which one and I adjust the bracket you need to lose th these three bolts one two three and something at that one make sure this is hand tight hand tight the, the hood and push this one towards driver side and same thing that one make sure th this two is loose then tight this one first go forward that side and go front go in the front okay because you need the hood go front a little bit more because it's touching right here okay and yeah take this one out and then just lose that one lose this one in the back and the front same thing the other side and since you tight this one you tight that one and just push that one then give it a try again and make sure 
You see how close that one? You open again, Joshua? See? This, this thing is like touching on it, but... See how really, really close. You have like five millimeter or four millimeter space right there. If is if you're gonna if you're gonna open it, it's like minimal space, you know, to the 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 space of the hood right here. But over there is a, a lot of space on the other side. But this one you need to push that way and go front. Then now I'm gonna do is measure the latch. It's right here because you need to measure that one and that one's like two inches in a quarter you can do two inch two inch in sorry about that put it at two inch in a quarter as well and try it out but i'm gonna do that next time and my son's already tired yeah we just went in the meat car meat thing and we just came back home and tried this one I want to see it and my son's gonna do the ceramic, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're gonna do two coat. Uh, he want five coat, make uh, like a clear coat thing. But I said probably gonna do two coat of the ceramic because I'm gonna, I might gonna do much paint of the body. But I, I'm gonna. I bought some vinyl and it try it out see I don't know if you can see it. it's like really close All right then thinking to uh, thinking to wrap it then that's nice I know if the big wrap you can tell but you know you can tell the difference of the vinyl but for sure that's different and that's only really really close for that this color but anyway one more part and we're gonna do that one but for now i'm gonna clean this one up and my son's gonna do the ceramic All right stay tuned guys good morning guys and here's the head the epr Various style carbon fiber hood and for my review is this is really nice good quality carbon fiber you know this is a replica and I don't expect like 100% total good and how how they look in the underneath for the fiberglass but Everything here is really nice. The fitment is good. It's right here. And this side too. It's really, really, very nice fitment. And the carbon fiber is nice. And the, the vent right here, the open. It's really good. Like total. I never seen a various uh, virus uh the real one because some of my friends have over here and i want to uh, see it in a comparison but she told me now you, you cannot tell it's really fitness good and how they look it's like they like almost same uh how they look <clears throat> but the fitment here is good I'm very happy for the fitment and thank you for my son to help me uh, install this one he, he, my two son is if you have like a helper or a friend relatives it's better to someone help you over here you know just what I said I uh, just need to adjust the the bracket that's the only thing I need to adjust. Don't adjust from the... So you put the bolts from the bracket and close it. And you can see the difference 
which one side is uh, you know closer and far over there and this one is like touching that side and this one's have more gap more room and what I did is just move the bracket total move the bracket and test it out again you know then yeah fit fit good and I noticed this one's like have a bouncy and this is tight this side see but <clears throat> if you want to adjust this one they have the the rubber thing over here and just adjust a little bit erase it up and now see it's tight they have four like a bump stop thing you know like a rubber four or one right here two in the front and one inside and that side is fine over here it's like if you're doing like this you know it's it's not tight you know it's bouncy now see it's tight like the other side too as well and in my issue here and I messed up the the latch. I don't know. It's my mistake. That's my mistake. My bad. And this is my first carbon fiber hood. And I never take it up the plate. I don't know why. I put the bolts and that they, they have a two bolts like make it sandwich. And I never noticed the the fiberglass is not have room for the nuts. Then I tighten it until I tightened it, then the tread is not good. Then what I did is because I'm looking for a bracket. Ah, uh, where's my bracket? I'm looking for a replacement. And this one is big and the tread is not longer. And this only one I saw in Amazon. And Then my uh, co-worker told me to put some washer. All right, I put washer to avoid the tread right here. Since I put the the tread, uh, the washer and tight bolt and test the, the fitment, you know, you can slam it. And if everything's good and you, and you measure it, the the latch because I measure it from the from here if you can see it uh, mine is like two inch longer and the factory one is two and a quarter you make it sh you know make it shorter and try it out then since I get my my fitment good I take out the bracket again and bring it to my coworker and he weld it for me. And now it's good. Let's go pop the hood. I can show you how I show you how to how they look in the underneath of the carbon fiber. This uh it's right here. See this one I'm talking about you need to remove this one I never remove it yeah and you see the bolts right here I trim it make sure you have more room for your bolts and I put extra washer behind to make sure if this one's the tread is not good anymore or it loose at least you have nuts and washer and under uh, the fiberglass. That makes sense. I, I changed the bolts right here and make it longer and put washer and nuts underneath, behind it. Yeah, so it's just only like safety reason thing. 
to make sure you know if this so the if the thread up from the fiberglass is loose or not good anymore they have option to tight this one I hope it makes sense what I'm talking about but anyway here the you need to trim the the washer nozzle I trimmed that one and I used the file and trim little by little by little to fit you know perfect then now I drew it over here and I'm gonna do this one too over here that makes sure it's oh sorry guys I ran a battery and yeah just tight this uh, drill some hole and make sure this one secured your hose for the water and that's all and everything is good see how I slam it just slam like this boom right there all right guys thank you for watching and next well uh, next maybe uh, <laughs> sorry next part is gonna be side mirror it's right here and Morgan style again but yeah yes uh, I'm not gonna wrap it you see this one is wrapped and this is the rear color of the car uh, we'll see if I'm gonna stay in carbon or wrap it or paint it but anyway thank you for watching guys and stay tuned more parts coming. Thank you.